Hi, I have a racket here that I'm about to string up, but I thought I'd make a perfect video to show you how to use a grommet grinder. And if you don't know what that is, you might want to stay tuned. All right, let's go inside. All right, so I mentioned that I received this racket from a new customer. And since I never strung his frame before when I inspected it, I noticed that there was a grommet that was actually missing. Well, in the sense that it's in the hole, but it's not sticking out through, through the inside of the frame. So I'm not sure how it got like that, but I thought this would be the perfect application for the grommet grinder. Now, if you don't have a grommet grinder system where you have the tools and the inserts, you can use nylon or Teflon tubing. And I did another video where I demonstrated how to uh, install tubing. So I'll provide the link below. All right, so here are the tools that you'll need for this application. First, you need a grommet grinder. It's called the RAB grommet grinder, and it's just distributed by Alpha. I'll provide the link below. And it's a unique tool, and it comes in two sizes, by the way. It comes in a, a four and a three millimeter. Uh, the three is used for single holes and the four, mainly for the tie-up holes. It's a unique tool because it's serrated around the tip and it's very pointy. So it's uh, uh, easy to remove the grommet because it's very sharp. The other tools that you'll need is a pair of pliers, uh, cutting pliers, and a setting off all. In addition to that, you'll need the Fitix grommet inserts. And I have um, a 3.7 millimeter here, a 4.0 here, and a 4.3. So these are the three main sizes that you'll need for tennis. All right, so what I have here are two possible grommet inserts that I'm gonna be using for this application. They're both the, I have the 4.3 and the 4.0 millimeter, and this is mainly for tie-off holes. So if I take the largest size, the 4.3, I'm gonna, um, and because this particular hole is within the bumper guard, I need to make sure that uh, this is not gonna be too too wide where if, when I put it, put it into the uh, grommet hole, that it's um, gonna prevent this uh, top part to lie flat on the bottom channel of the bumper guard. So one way to check is if I slide this within that channel of the bumper guard, it should be able to fit within that channel. But with this one, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it is actually sticking out. Whereas if I take the 4.0 millimeter one and put it in the same position, it actually is lying inside of that um, channel. So I'm pretty confident that this is the one that I'm gonna be using to uh, install here. And you'll notice that on this, there's uh, one side that's angled, I mean, not sorry, but that has a uh, tab that's sort of angled out to one side. Well, you can turn it around this side and it'll be angled that way. but. Anyway, what you're gonna do is when you put it in, you're just gonna angle that to the direction of the next hole where the string is gonna uh, go into. All right, so I have my four millimeter grommet grinder that I'm, I'm using for this uh, tie off hole. And I'm on the outside of the frame and what I'm gonna do is stick it into the hole and I'm gonna start rotating clockwise. And basically I'm just gonna keep going until that uh, grommet pops out. Uh, to the inside of the frame. So you can see how quick that was. And I have my pliers here that I'm gonna uh, hold on to that grommet and just rotate it uh, the opposite direction. Now that I removed the old grommet, and this is what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new uh, insert. And again, we already determined that the 4.0 millimeter one is the one to use. So, um, what I'm going to do is pay attention to where the string is coming from or going to. So uh, I'll, I'm going to angle this uh, tab towards the hole that the string is coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it into that hole that we removed the grommet. And it's lying nice and flat in there. There's nothing sticking out on this surface. So uh, we know that that's um, staying in there nice and flat. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and cut the extra 
end of the grommet and basically you want to kind of match what the other grommets look like so in this case it's sticking out, out about an eighth of an inch so I'll go ahead and uh, cut it around that length and cut it right there so as you can see just looking at it at a glance I mean it looks like it's just uh, the stock uh, grommets here's a couple of pictures of that repair grommet before and after stringing in today's application of the Alpha Rab Fitix grommet system, you can see how it left the racket with a nice finished look. However, if you don't have the system and you have plain old tubing, you can use some of the applications that I shared with you in a previous video, and I'll leave the link below. Today's video is inspired by a viewer that requested today's content, so hopefully it was helpful. Thanks for watching, happy stringing, and let your strings play.